1969, man set foot on the moon. The result of a battle of minds, technology, and resources like the world has never seen. This is the Space Race. Kickstarted by the innovation of German missiles in World War II, the USA boasted it would get the first artificial satellite into orbit. Too slow. In October 1957, the USSR launched Sputnik into orbit around the Earth. Maintaining their momentum, Sputnik 2 launched a month later, carrying Laika the dog. Laika's gonna be okay, right? Oh. Desperate to keep pace, the USA finally reached orbit with the Explorer 1 rocket. Still in the lead, the USSR launched Luna 1, the first shuttle to fall into orbit around the Sun. Luna? Is the Sun really what they're aiming for? Apparently not. Luna 2 became the first spacecraft to land on the Moon. It's 1960, let's get some people up there. But first, more animal testing. No, please stop. Thankfully, the two Soviet dogs made a safe return to Earth. Slow on the uptake, but in better style, the USA sent up Ham the chimpanzee. He also made it back. It's a clear victory here. In 1961, Yuri Gagarin was the first man in space. The first cosmonaut. Not far behind, Alan Shepard entered space. The first... Astronaut? I guess cosmonaut was too Russian. Another Soviet victory. Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman in space. And apparently being in space isn't good enough anymore. Cosmonaut Alexei Leonov left the craft for a spacewalk. And now we're back to tragedy. Four lives were claimed in 1967 by a cockpit fire and a failed parachute. In 1968, the USA had set its sights on the moon. Apollo 8 is the first manned shuttle to orbit it. And here we are, it's 1969. Apollo 11 landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz, surely that's a nickname, Buzz Aldrin are the first humans to step foot on the moon. It's a strong three years for the USA, six more Apollo missions, landing a total of 12 people on the moon by 1972. That's a victory moment. Although Soviet cosmonauts never made it to the moon, the USSR did launch the world's first space station in 1971, which would later become part of the ISS, so points for foresight. By 1975, political tensions between the two nations began to thaw, and the space race came to a symbolic end with a handshake in space. So, who won? Well, that depends. If it was a race to space, the USSR takes the lead with Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin. But if it was for the moon, the USA would take the victory with the Apollo missions. You may think it's a cop-out, but I think we can consider humanity to be the collective victor. Technology took a monumental leap during the race, giving us massive advancements in communications, radiology and computing. And now it's looking like we could be on the verge of a new space race. And this time, private companies are joining the lineup. Finish line? Mars. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comments who you think won the race, and if or when we'll make it to Mars. These videos are super interesting to make, but can be weeks of work, so a like and subscribe is hugely appreciated. Thanks.